and welcome to Dice Voyeurs. <laughs> so this is John, and of course, Roxy is here with me, yep. and today we're actually joined by... Our executive producer. Executive producer. It's a fancy title. <laughs> it's Matt, a fancy, fancy yeah, title. Matt from the Nerds Domain, yep. so the first time you get to be on our show. Yeah, I'm excited. Well, thank you so much. Well, we have driven up to Indy. Uh, mm-hmm. We were in Kansas City for the last couple episodes, yep. and so now we're in Indy, and... Drinking a frappuccino when it's cold outside. Yeah, you know, because John is an addict. And... I am an addict. I, I like my coffee, and I like my coffee cold. There is <laughs> nothing wrong. I can stop no, anytime. Nobody is, nobody is mocking you yet. Yet. No judgment. Yet. Not openly. <laughs> so, of course, uh, Dice Voyeurs. So, we need to go ahead and talk about Dice Trivia. I love how you can say 18 words and not say anything. Exactly. <laughs> it's, a, it's a gift. It's a southern it's a, it's southern, a southern thing. It's a southern thing. Yes, it's time for dice trivia, John. Please. Dice trivia. Please drop drop a truth bomb on us about dice. All right. So, it's... being up north and nearing uh, certain figures within role playing, Gary Gygax. Okay. So, when he got into di- dice, it was educational dice. Like he bought a package of educational dice, and that's how they started that off. But can you imagine what else? What other system? Or chance that he created. What, what kind of system do you think that he would have used for a game that he would create later? Did he invent playing cards? <laughs> wow, I like you. <laughs> no, I no, no ideas. No, no guesses. Fudge dice. Rock, rock, paper, scissors. Well, actually, uh, no. He uh, <laughs> for a game called Tractics that he designed with Mike Reese and Leon Tucker. He said that what they should do is use a 20-sided spinner, like a spinner with 20 numbers on it, or he wanted them to put 20 poker chips that are numbered into a coffee can, shake them up to pull your number. And that was his idea. He invented bingo? <laughs> 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 but no, so that, that was, those were his ideas for other ways to enter chance into gaming. Okay. Which I guess he just wanted to leave dice behind. I don't know why, but that that was his idea. Twenty poker chips in a coffee can. Yeah, I'd get loud. I don't even like Yahtzee. Actually, yeah. we when we played uh, years ago in a LARP, um, you used to draw cards out of a deck, yeah. or you could get little chips with numbers on them and pull them out of a, a bag. A bag, yeah. yeah. And that so we did. A, I did a lot of that. Yep, that, that was World of Darkness. Second, yeah, the uh, second the, time. Through. The new world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, that's how David plays. He. He has the deck uh, the kids I used to play. Yep, I, I still have my uh, official White Wolf deck with the, like, the ridiculous... Uh, he says it like he's a lead. Bat, uh, the bat skulls that yeah. were on there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah White Wolf uh, like to do their goth and do it hard. Yes. Hard goth. Let's play bats, not skulls. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's, I would bet that that was a conversation <laughs> had. God, so goth. So edgy. <laughs> But so (laughs) we are actually here, though. Uh, We were going to take a look at some of your dice. Yes. And so what do we got today? Well, I've got uh, an assorted number of dice. So years ago, I don't believe in buying sets of dice because that's stupid. Years ago, I I bought a pitcher of dice and I have uh, put together my dice from that. But I have a very specific couple of sets that are for Cthulhu since we run Call of Cthulhu for uh, the Masks of Nyarlathotep podcast. Which you can find on iTunes and Stitcher and Google Play. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to plug that. That's fine. <laughs> plug um, away. So a couple years ago at uh, the Call of Cthulhu, call, the Chaosium booth at Gen Con, I found the Q Workshop Call of Cthulhu dice, the green and black ones, mm-hmm. for five dollars. And I was like, um, I will take these because I assumed it was like some you know old print run or they were going to revamp or something. And then last year, I went by the Chaosium booth, like I always do, and they had them again, so I bought another set. And it turns out they always sell them for $5 a piece yeah, because that's a, that's a Chaosium deal. thing instead of the $19 we just saw yeah. at the game store. Yeah. So I will be buying five or six more sets because I like, I like the color of them. They're, they're very stylistic. They have little tentacles on them, which I'm always a fan of. Mm-hmm. And they're actually, they seem very easy to read. Whereas they are. I will say some um, Q Workshop dice get a little busy they get really busy yeah and uh i know we have friends that don't like having them at the table because they so can't this check would, it, this is probably our first time to have the q workshop workshop we have not had on. q workshop on we've had their uh dice cups yes yes, yes. on the show but we have yeah. not actually done any of our q workshop dice yeah. yet. mind if i take a look at one no of them? Absolutely. go right ahead wonderful well some people don't like us touching their oh, dice, no no so no we, i i don't have that particular superstition 
Yeah, yeah. no, I, I like that. I mean, so the color's really well centered. You yeah. have a good border. Uh, and is they it, are in great. Oh, form. it is in great. I we, love that. We have had, we had, like the ones that I have, I have a set of Pathfinder Skull and Shackles Cube Workshop dice. And they feel painted oh, okay. instead of engraved. And that's a and big I think thing to me. I think it might just be the set that I got. I don't know if it was a, a cheaper run or what, but um, now the Elder Sign is the for the highest, for the highest, highest on yeah. the dice. So that's nice. The Elder Sign is a good thing. Yes, in all the Lovecraft right. games. Mm-hmm. It depends on which side you're on. You can be a cultist. Well, everything. <laughs> but I I fight for the for the side of good. Yeah, I said the cultist. Yeah, <laughs> the <laughs> only dice that doesn't have the Elder Sign is the D4 because mm-hmm. that would because it's the D4. Yeah, that, that would, would be, be yeah. weird. And I like the I actually like the D four the best out of all of them. I mean, mm-hmm. the, the color is really good, uh, but the spacing and the number size on this one, I, that yeah. that to it's me less of the much, artwork. It's very simple. Much more striking. I like that a lot. I, I like a lot of what Cube Workshop puts out, but you're right. Some of their stylized dice are just yeah terrible well, to read. And so. for me, I one of the big <clears throat> things that I've always felt with dice is they have to be engraved to some extent. Or, uh, you, risk. you know, you risk them rubbing off in a bag. Now, yeah. uh, these days, people are buying little dice coffins or whatever you call it, where they keep their dice separate. That's where I put my bad yeah. dice. You know. It's in a dice coffin. I... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's one of those things where, so they, they keep them separate, and those are their, their premium dice. They don't want them getting shipped. They're probably made out of some special material. Yeah. But by and large, when I go to a game, you know, store or anything else, if I'm going to carry my dice, it's probably going to be in a bag or whatever. Yeah. And, I want something that's going to be able to handle that, mm-hmm. you know, because otherwise special dice don't come out as often. People aren't going to buy as many. Yeah. Right. And no, I, I like this. This is really, this is really good and really striking. I do like the color, but it's kind of like the old World of Darkness dice where it was the red on black. Mm-hmm. That was also, you know, really striking. I've got color that vampire set. Oh, nice. But yeah. I'm holding off because they keep going for really way too much on eBay for like hundreds of dollars yeah. for a set. So yeah. I'm waiting to sell those and I'm going to retire on there that. There you money. go. Yeah. yeah no. Nah, well, so. well, and then of course with the new World of Darkness, the new new yeah. World of Darkness <laughs> coming, maybe we'll see more of those. So. The new 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 new. The new 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 new. And I even had a custom bag. Yeah, I was just saying. Speaking of dice yeah. bags, we've got this really cute uh, Elder Gods. Chi- yeah, Chibi. Um, I found the pattern, and then I have a seamstress um, that we work with that does a lot of my costuming for for LARP. Um, but she put it together. She, my regular dice bag is something so this she is made a beautiful too. Dice bag. Yeah, it's bright red. It's I, I didn't care for the pattern, but um, we were supporting her for something else she was doing, and this was the the reward for it. And it has little pockets inside, which you can't really see easily. Yeah. But she likes Still. to put pockets on every. So she makes skirts too that she puts pockets on. Amen. She likes pockets, but they they Ooh, they're little pockets you could put in there and. Um, you know, I've got a bunch of dice in here that are all kind of weird, and like we've got Hoosier Con, which is a local con- convention, and then I I don't know where I picked those up. I think that was the cup, the giant. So this yellow dice, I don't. It the was probably in the giant yeah. uh, kind of an pitcher. Yellow too. Yeah. yeah, and then I've got you know old school um, tokens and stuff that I don't need old from school. fourth edition. Um, but yeah, I, the bag is super solid. Um, yeah. Hefty. It's double. It's a double bag, so you can feel. Oh uh, yeah. It's got nice. some thickness. This one, the the custom one she made for. Uh, Cthulhu is not as thick, but it is still like oh yeah, solid. No. It's got and it's corn. more than likely you're not going to just pile a whole bunch of sets in here. I mean, no, I'm going to put when I get more specific. more of the Call of Cthulhu dice. That's all that's going in this bag. Yeah, so because that's one of those things like uh, with the what what is it the, the the dice bag that's by D20 Collective. I mean that one is the a, deluxe dice, the bag, deluxe dice we have. bag is a dice really bag hefty holding. one, and so having it so thick that you can yeah. add a whole bunch of sets yeah. it's a yeah. big thing yeah i really like those pockets. surely my wife has another has a bag exactly like this just different um coloring and hers is full so much that she like can barely close it and tie the top <laughs> um but you know i i don't i don't buy sets like i said but i have dice that i love and even dice that i can't use anymore that i keep um years ago a cat peed on these dice <laughs> um, and the result was, well, we'll just soak them and wash them and not a big deal. Well, it turns out that I have white D20s that you can't read the numbers on. I just still have old wooden D6s oh, uh, wow. that I may or may not have stolen out of a risk game. Um, <laughs> so, that. so I got a white D20 that, that the red is oh, coming man. off of yeah. because uh, it turns out uh, dish detergent will well, kill we'll take take that, that particular paint. Um, but these are, I mean, I've got direction dice. Yep. 
Wow. Now, do you have the poker hand dice? I have a couple uh, in here yeah, somewhere. Yeah, you've got quite a few. Got one shot dice from yeah. the One Shot Podcast, and then uh, a couple years ago, uh, Wizards of the Coast did a Drow thing at Gen Con where you mm-hmm. could get all the Drow dice by doing all the events. Well, I got the D6 and I was done. Yeah. <laughs> it was there, there were too many people, and it was it was going to be a slog to get through it, and it just wasn't uh, worth it for the dice. Which uh, which do you so remember which game it was for? Or? It was for D and D fourth edition. Uh, yeah, it had to have been, because I don't think 5th edition was... Maybe yeah. it was... No, it was 5th edition. That was one out. of the other reasons I didn't want to do it, uh, because I was a staunch anti-5th edition person at that oh. time. I was tired of new editions. Honestly, yeah, like, well, let's just play an edition. Well, I know. I heard Mike Merles said something uh, some time ago, closer oh, God, to the stream yeah. of Annihilation, and people like went nuts thinking that he was talking about releasing yeah. a 6th edition. I was like, please well, not now. And we... I, I, I've, in, I've interviewed uh, Chris Perkins several times at, oh, at cool. Gen Con. Cool. Super fun. Actually, best fourth edition game I've ever played. He was like, "We're not going to play with minis. There's too many of you to really do this. We're just going to talk it through, roll a dice, we'll figure it out." Yeah. Ran the best game ever, and I even awesome. have old the old Aaliyah workshop magnets for mm. minis in here that oh, wow. are so old. This was a, a pack from the first year they put them out that they gave out to the GMs that were running Wizards of the Coast stuff back when I was still just Wizards of the Coast and not Hasbro, mm. and they're so old they've rubbed off the the sticker. Oh, wow. From from Aaliyah tools. Well, and and so. Wizards of the Coast doesn't come to Gen Con anymore. So. Yeah. Well, and this this was when they were still running their their bald. It wasn't Baldman Games running their organized events. It was still Wizards doing. Oh. So I mean, it's Better. been doing Gen Con for a little for a while. A long time. Yeah. So yeah, I got my fourth edition marks and. Nice. I love the little. Cool. Yeah. So I have a bunch of crap in my. I, I have minis that I have no intention of ever using for anything, they're but they're in here. in here because that's where they sit. I don't know. So. No, that's great. Well, very cool. Yeah. These, all of this looks very awesome, and I'll get some pictures of the dice. Oh yeah, and the the bags so you guys can see. Does oh, your steam sister? Does she have an Etsy? Yeah. Or? So uh, it's idiorhythmic idiot designs. I'll make sure you guys have the link for okay, it. Okay. Yeah, I'll put it on um, the blog because and in the show notes. It, it's hard to remember how to say it, let alone spell it. But it idiorhythmic. Idiorhythmic. Yeah, and she okay. has a bunch of designs for bags. And if you want a Fantastic. special, like I picked out this uh, cloth and sent it, had it shipped to her. And we went from there. Is she local or is she? Uh, she's in the Chicagoland area. Okay, so, so. <laughs> yeah, so local ish. She's a friend more of mine local, from. <laughs> more local than we are in Houston. Friend of mine from Lark. <laughs> there you go. There she you was go. a cam. I the good things that came out of the camp for me. So. Cool. Um, but yeah, very she did. Neat. She did these. I'm very happy with these. Like, I picked out the design, but I knew she was going to do a good job. Yeah. That's. Now I have. I have. I've seen a dice bag that I, I've seen someone else have it, not in person, um, but I have an idea for a dice bag that I want. I've never been able to find one. And it has the pocket idea, but they're almost like divisions in the main pocket. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I will definitely check her out. Roach is, can... her name's Rachel, but we, everybody calls her Roach. Roach is phenomenal. I went to her with uh, LARP costuming ideas, and I'm like, I'm playing this guy from uh, the Mediterranean, and I need a cape, and, uh, you know, I have this, and I need stencils on it, but of, like, my god the god i worship and I, but i don't know what that looks like and she found the stenciling she found um like some edging stuff that mm-hmm. did, all of it came out great she found the clasp that i that i didn't know i wanted mm-hmm. perfect so awesome. she's she's really great um, i highly suggest her so fantastic fantastic well we will link to her in the show notes and in the blog um but awesome this has been great thank you for yeah absolutely. coming on our show and, and they for hosting us yeah 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 well nurse domain uh the nurse, nurse main hq we yeah. have a couple of ropes. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So, so uh, well, please, yeah. John, your tagline. Yeah, and, and as always, remember, show me your dice, and I'll show you mine. That's back. Good to see you guys. <laughs> You've been listening to Dice Foyers. Please subscribe to get our episodes as soon as they release. For more information about us, check out passionerdly.com, at passionerdly on Twitter and Instagram, as well as facebook.com slash passionerdly. Also, if you're interested in supporting our show, look us up at patreon.com slash passionerdly. Once again, thank you for listening. This has been a production of the Southgate Media Group. For more podcasts like this one, head over to southgatemediagroup.com.